video. Today I'm actually staying here in Bonifacio Global City, BGC as the locals call it. And it's my first time exploring the city so I wanted to check it out with you guys and take you guys along with us as we see what else is out there. So let's head out. Located in Taguig City in Metro Manila, BGC is considered one of the fastest growing cities by economic expansion. It's a popular and high-end business district and it is currently the most sought after hub for shopping, dining, entertainment, as well as residents in Manila. So we're currently staying at the One Uptown residence, which is a property owned by Mega World. It is centrally located here inside BGC and across from the Grand Hyatt Hotel. And it's also next to the brand new Japanese mall that just opened, which is Mitsukoshi Mall, which we'll go check out in just a little bit. thing about the one uptown residence is that they have the uptown link which is just directly connected to the mall so you can avoid the heat and it's just an escalator ride down away to the mall so we made it here to the uptown link and this first floor here is kind of like their mini food court area. Uptown Mall also conveniently has the Marketplace by Rustans, which is a grocery store and food court combined. This place has come in handy on our trip when we needed to stock up on necessities, anywhere from cold beverages to toiletries, and of course, food on the go available at decent prices. Whoa, they got Costco stuff here? I just saw this. Uptown Mall. Here in the Philippines, they have some of the best, biggest malls around, but Uptown Mall is actually considered a smaller mall to them. So let's go check out and see what the definition of small here looks like. Let me show you. Uptown Mall offers a mix of local and international brands, covering everything from fashion and electronics to home furnishings and beauty products. They carry a lot of familiar mainstream brands, so it's easy to feel right at home. The only problem is knowing which floor to start with. made it to level three and there's still another set of escalators so we're gonna go head out to level four. There's the chapel. Floor now. Top floor is actually connected to the residences. There's still a couple of restaurants here as well, and as you can see, it's more open here. Wait, camera store? Can we go look? small break in Henry's camera which is their local camera store here and it is actually cheaper to buy camera gear here I was almost tempted to pick up another mic but I know I don't need it right now but right behind us is the uptown food hall we're actually gonna go do some shopping afterwards so let's go grab ourselves a drink <laughs> so I can actually get some food and drinks. Yeah. Do you want one? Okay. Finally, 
picked our meal. I got a donut from the donut place. I forgot what it's called. I'm gonna put the name somewhere here on the screen. Brian picked up something from Gatsuman. He's getting pork katsu and I'm getting these spicy chicken sesame karakis. And I got water. While we're waiting, I wanted to try the donut. This is their most popular flavor, which is the polvoron flavor. So basically milk and cashew. They only had one left, so let's give it a try. Looks like it has chocolate on it too. Cream. I can't really taste the full brown, but it does have milk and cashew coating on the outside. It's really good. What is this again? Yeah, pork katsu Pork katsu How does it compare to our Japanese restaurants? It's great. Next stop is Mitsukoshi BGC. This mall is a renowned and upscale department store with its origins tracing back to Japan. Mitsukoshi is the first Japanese-inspired mall in the Philippines and offers a one-of-a-kind shopping experience with its wide range of high-quality products, modern architecture, and theming all throughout, celebrating the rich Japanese culture. Got all the plushies. Our first stop was their beauty department as this was highly recommended to me as a must visit. This department was curated with premium Japanese beauty essentials. But what stood out to me the most is the clean and airy design of the department which seamlessly blends all the different sections from one brand to the next. It was so relaxing here that I could have easily killed time just browsing and sampling everything but we have a lot more Mitsukoshi to explore. Hi. Yeah. Mitsukoshi's retail shopping carries many different Japanese brands and a selection of high-end luxury stores. At the time of filming, there was still a considerable amount of stores set to open in the near future, but luckily, some crowd favorite places were open for our business. It tastes like matcha. I don't know what to say. I can't taste the ube, but um, yeah, it is pretty strong matcha, I think. I, I, don't, I don't know, dude. It tastes like matcha, but stronger. So are the other matcha drinks that I drink fake? Is this supposed to be the real thing? We'll never know, I guess, but. Here, you taste it, you tell me. the ube like immediately this is actually really good it's not that sweet now that we're all freshened up we're gonna head back up to the condo we'll see you there all right so we made it back to our condo and i wanted to wrap things up about the uptown mall as well as the mitsukoshi mall that we saw today uptown mall is a lifestyle mall in gig city mega world corporation as we've mentioned is the developer for the uptown community so uptown mall is their flagship mall and this mall houses over 150 stores and it spans a space of about 85,000 square meters or 910,000 square feet that brings me to mitsukoshi which is the new japanese inspired mall that opened earlier this year they are focusing more on japanese brands featuring luxury items as well as daily essentials and of course their very own japanese food court which i was sad that i didn't get to see sooner we didn't realize there was actually a lower level when you walk in so how do you feel when we discovered that there's another floor it actually kind of sucks because this is the better floor and this is where everyone is yeah everyone's down here eating japanese food
for a Tuesday afternoon. I expected it to be a little bit quieter inside the mall. I was pleasantly surprised to see that all the restaurants downstairs were pretty full and lively and had really great selection that I really wish I was able to try. That is it for me today. Hopefully you guys were able to learn something new from our trip here in BGC. And for those of you who have been here, let me know what your guys' thoughts about the Uptown Mall or if you've already seen the Mitsukoshi Mall that just recently opened would you be checking it out? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. I guess that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video.